Hi everyone, in this video I want to talk about uh, image tracking in the new version of Touch AR uh, app which I tried today on my iPad um, and it's available for iOS, we can download free right now this is a prototyping uh, app for augmented reality uh, here you can see the new features so you can see the image tracking and our experiences to um, brand um, marks, objects and images in the real world so uh, today I decided just to try out this uh, image tracking and later on I'm going to try the other features. So today I stayed home and I decided to try it out. Now just keep in mind that I'm using this on the iPad 5th uh, generation and as you can see the performance isn't great, the frame rate are not that great. I'm just uh, mentioning this, on your device it can work better if you have a better device than this one. So again this is a very simple demonstration, what I wanted to do is just uh, uh, take a picture of this uh, battle, of the image of the battle. Actually, I captured the, uh, an image of the of the of the label and the, the battle itself. Uh, this is the image. As you can see, it also includes the area around it. Um, and then it's uploaded to the servers, and then it's available for um, for me to use as a tracked image. As you can see, the track asset scene all in the scene options, and. Uh, once you have this, uh, the app can then uh, recognize the image and then you can attach different behaviors. Now to make certain be behaviors work, you need to have triggers, something that will trigger the certain behavior. You can also access the settings uh, of the image uh, just to make sure that it will uh, detect it properly. And you can see the physical width, uh, the image dimensions and the orientation. Now you can add more than uh, one image and of course uh, when you run the, the app uh, you can actually see uh, the app response uh, for different types of images that appear in the scene. In other words, for example, you can have like three bottles, each one with different uh, uh, image label and then you can see it when you play the app you can see different types of uh, triggers uh, being activated and behaviors being uh, executed uh, for each type of label. Uh, while you're using running the app at the same time. Now you can see me adding an interaction. I personally would want to see something that doesn't require just interaction, just to see that the, when the the app is able to recognize uh, the image, just saying, all right, something like recognize, you know, having some icon or something instead of having an action, uh, you know, just for testing, you know, uh, because you just want to do it fast, press play and see image detected and then I can continue. It's like for example when you debug an app you want just to see something, a simple text that shows you something and then you're going to continue because you see that a certain event works correctly and then you can build something on top of it. So I basically decided that the first uh, interaction will be uh, opening a certain URL. This means that once I point uh, the device towards uh, this image and the a torch app recognizes this image, uh, it will trigger uh, an event that will open a certain link. In this case, I think I just used uh, my uh, my blog. Uh, yeah, arcritic.com, I just used my blog. Uh, so again, when I point my uh, the device towards this image, it recognizes it, it will launch uh, the browser and load uh, this specific URL. So this is the action response and uh, let's see how it works. Now all I need to do is just press this play button. You see the bottom right corner. I just press it and I'm already putting my phone toward my phone, my tablet towards the image. You see, it recognizes the image and then it opens the browser. Now, you probably recognize this uh, for many apps, uh, you know, that use uh, image recognition and then either place some objects, with the objects on top of this uh, image. Uh, where the image is located or just uh, trigger anything else like a URL or something, you know, uh, QR barcodes, remember this, when you just uh, point your device and then it launches, uh, you know, something, it triggers some event, uh, like maybe a notification or show you some uh, data on the screen or maybe, uh, you know, open a certain URL. Uh, the thing is that this is based on the same concept of image recognition. 
Of course, you're not limited to a single interaction. You can actually make several interactions uh, run at the same time. I didn't see anything about delay, delaying events, but uh, maybe there's something that will be added in the future. You will actually uh, scan another battle, the other label of the battle. And uh, again, it just launches, I made it launch a torch that, uh, that app website. It's important um, to know that uh, when you take a picture, make sure you take a picture of the, for example, if it is a battle, you want this to trigger for this label, take a large picture of the label framed only on the label. Because if you take a picture with the battle and with the surrounding, uh, this is an entire image that should be recognized by the system. So it will only trigger the event and the image will only recognize if it sees something like this, the battle and the surrounding area. So make sure that if you want it to trigger for the battle, it, uh, for the label itself, uh, many types of uh, background areas, make sure you just take a picture of the label itself and not the surroundings. Now I'm going to demonstrate it to you. I'm just going to try it out. I put the battle, I press play and it doesn't recognize the image. Why? Because I took the image when the battle was lying on the bed. So what I did, you just flip the bottle, put it on the bed, and then you can see it recognized the image and the event is triggered. Now I want to say that uh, in terms of the user interface, I found it a bit confusing. I know it looks simple or anything, but I found it a bit confusing. Sometimes I see like an X button at the top and one the little one at the bottom left. And uh, you know, I, I want to delete an image, but there's not no way to do it. I want to delete the trick image. Where is the X button where I can delete it? Many things that may be a bit confused and it took me some time to get uh, under to understand how things work properly. So again, I personally not a fan of this UI, uh, but again, it's not it's something that you're gonna you know understand pretty quickly because there are not tons of options and it's quite clear. But again, I think this can be designed better in general. All right, let's continue. This is the image that I took of my phone, as you can see, and let's try to see what we can do with it. So the first thing I need to do, of course, is to uh, add this to the tracked uh, assets. And that's what I do now. Once I've done that, I go to the triggers and responses and uh, use uh, the tracked image um, as a trigger. So again, once the image is recognized, it will trigger an event and a certain behavior. And this behavior, of course, this is something I decide in the app itself. All right, for this uh, behavior, I actually wanted to create something more interesting. So I actually added another 3D asset into uh, uh, the scene itself, this little dude, and I just position it near the tree. I then created a behavior that evolves around this, uh, uh, this character. I added uh, some, um, you know, I rotated it and uh, uh, enlarge it a bit and move it a bit so you know you can actually see all those types of uh, uh, behaviors uh, executed um, uh, immediately once uh, the phone image is detected actually the phone because this is the wallpaper of the phone now as you can see there are different types of responses uh, you can rotate it uh, you rotate the character you can also enable the behavior or disable the behavior if you just want to disable things and test other things out uh, you can enlarge it, uh, you can move it from side to side, uh, or you can see you can decide on which axis you want it to move. And you can also change the position, as you can see, the location, color, visibility. These are the options that are available to you. So again, I play with it, just create something simple. Of course, you can create some, you know, depends on what you want to do. Yeah, I just created some, something that uh, it will be easier for me to see and recognize and something that I will actually enjoy uh, watching. All right, everything is ready. So I brought the device in front and nothing happened. Why? Because I didn't press the play button, of course. How can you do anything? I need to run it. So I did it. But oops, look what happened. It actually opened the link. I didn't want it to. It's actually remember uh, the first behavior that I put to open the link. So I needed to delete it and try again. So I went back and removed the link to the torch.app website, this is the official website, and try it again. So as you can see, it worked. I just put the phone and it recognized the images and it, the thing is that it continuously uh, uh, repeated all the events because it, uh, I should have put it like on one time and then maybe create another event that uh, when uh, it loses the tracking, it kind of uh, resets the scene. 
Yeah, so this is it. Uh, this is just a quick demo of this uh, new feature. And I'm going to show you uh, the other features in future videos. I uh, hope you enjoy it. Uh, if you like this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, and uh, again, more videos of me using Torch uh, AR or Torch 3D, whatever you decide to call it, uh, will become uh, shortly. So stay tuned. Bye bye.